Hello, this is Bishop Spears again, and of course, Miss Clara Williams. And uh, we just are so, so thankful for, for this time. And it's been such a blessing uh, to be able to communicate with you. And I want to thank you as parents for what you do to make sure that uh, both your children and you uh, take advantage of this time. Uh, it's been so exciting. And then I'm so thankful for uh, both Elder Cherie Timms and, of course, yes. Sister Tif Tiffany Neely, who Absolutely. provides leadership for our children and our youth. Thank you so much for uh, the Zooming time that you provide. And just so awesome that parents, you allow your children to participate. And uh, we're so grateful. Uh, man, you can tell that today is an amazing day after the 4th of July. Uh, I didn't get a chance to share it, but 25 years ago today is when I preached the first Sunday as a pastor. Wow. Today. Amen. Your anniversary. And, uh, yeah. Happy anniversary. Yeah, 25 years ago today. Yes. Uh, it was the first Sunday in 95, 1995. So I'm so wow. thankful and uh, just grateful. Uh, let's bow for a word of prayer. Father, we bless you and praise you, God, God, for this place and time and just love on you, God. Thank you. Lord, for your Stop. word, and we're just so, so Thank thankful, you. Lord, for, for all that you do. God, we oh, give you all of the glory. Give the glory. We give you all of the glory, all God. Of the glory we thank you in advance for what you're going to do. Yes, in, God. Jesus name, in Jesus' name, amen, amen and amen. 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 I'm work, walking through this. I, this is just my heart is still high. And heavy, just rejoicing, praising the Lord. And uh, I'm just so, so grateful. That text in Jeremiah is, it's uh, in the term of preachers, it's portable. <laughs> it can it's preach anywhere word. at any time. Living through disappointment. Yes. And a lot of people are experiencing that. We never thought that even children would live through uh, some area of disappointments. And I'm sure for them, it's a little different disappointment in terms of summer vacations, right. disappointment in terms of uh, being able to travel or do some things that their families normally do. And uh, we just, you know, pray that uh, all of this stuff that we're uh, enduring and we're bearing, mm -hmm. uh, it's in God's hand. And so we, we continue to trust him for the outcome of it. And, um, you know, I want to thank you again, Ms. Clara, for uh, such a creative approach. You know, we talk about what the message is going to be about, what mm -hmm. scripture text is going to be used, and you come up with creative approaches. <clears throat> Even as we're preparing for Zooming for virtual Bible school, amen. Yes, we're excited yes. about that and excited about uh, our full gospel conference. Uh, there will be a place uh, for children to participate as well. And I trust that if your child has never gone to the international conference for full gospel, that they take part, that they register. It's free of charge. It's virtual as we've been doing everything. But there are opportunities that even our babies, our children, and our youth of course, our young adults as well can take advantage of the uh, conference. And so we're looking forward to that on this week. Uh, we're just so excited. Miss Clara, what do you have for us today? Well, Bishop, um, I have a sponge. And it's just a, a simple sponge. But I brought this, friends, because I, I first of all wanted to, to uh, ask the question, what, what do we do? With the sponge. Bishop, can you help me? What do we do so, with the sponge? Uh, I was thinking about that. You know, a sponge uh, kind of consumes and mm -hmm. uh, retains it does, it does. <laughs> in terms of water or liquid. Mm -hmm. uh, we use it sometimes for cleaning up. Absolutely. We use a sponge. You know, if you're a great dishwasher, you know, you may <laughs> use a sponge. <laughs> Washington. That was, you know, that was one of my chores growing up. 
I had to wash those old dishes. Kitchen duty. Yeah, kitchen duty. <laughs> All right. Well, were you done? I don't I want to am, interrupt yes. you. Well, I think you're right on target with what I was hoping you would say about a sponge because it is used for cleaning and it does uh, absorb. absorb. You know, if, if we put it in water, it would fill up with whatever uh, the water contains. And sometimes it's dirty water. If we're on kitchen yes. duty and we're cleaning up, the water gets dirty. Yes. And it seeps into the sponge. So today, friends, I want you to consider the sponge as you and I. And sometimes we get consumed, we get filled up with the cares of life, the disappointments wow. of life. And sometimes it's like that dirty water. Yes. It, 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 it's, it uh, gets all soaked up. And then when life comes, life comes and it, and it squeezes yes. whatever's on the inside out. Right. And so my thought was, is if we have a lot of disappointment that's mm. built up on the inside, when life comes and squeezes us, when we have disappointments, that's a squeeze. When we have frustrations, that's a squeeze. When we can't go to summer day camp like we've been going yes. to, that, that's, a that's a squeeze. You know, when we can't go on field trips and, and play with our friends at the park, that's a squeeze. Those are disappointments that, that consume us. Yes. But the important thing to remember, friends, is what do we do when the squeeze comes out? Is it going to be dirty water? Are we going to have uh, a mean heart and spirit? Are we going to be disappointed and say those things? Are we going to do what the Bible encourages us to do? When, when life happens and, and it squeezes, we have to give God the glory. You said Amen. earlier, he's got it. He's got We've it. got to know that he is in control. Yes. And when life is squeezing us, we can let the joy and the love Amen. and the peace come out. So, you know, that that really is, I mean, just a great <laughs> illustration uh, because, um, you know, even as as you were you were squeezing, sometimes uh, your hand as you as you squoze the um, uh, what is that the sponge. sponge, it operates as God's hand because there are sometimes when God is squeezing, you mm -hmm. know, to get out of us. You know, uh, the breakage when you're I was talking about going down to the potter's house. Mm -hmm. You know, the amazing thing is that the Bible says that the potter's house has a breaking. Mm -hmm. And uh, what God does is in that process of breaking that he used the same uh, material, the same material, the same clay uh, that he uses in terms of breaking. Uh, there is a process that he, he uses uh, to put that metal or that material back together so that he uses the same. And so he gets his best work done out of us sometimes, even as life is squeezing mm -hmm. <laughs> the worst out of us, God is also helping to move the worst so that he can put some more into us. And I love the way the sponge bounces back, right. you know, and so... Uh, I think God has given us as believers um, the wherewithal to be able to bounce back. Absolutely. Yeah, he's given us the wherewithal to be able to bounce back. And like the sponge, you know, that's a durable sponge, you know, um, but it is also uh, what God does. You know, he places inside of us a strength that we're not even familiar with. We don't even really know it's there mm -hmm. until after a uh, tragedy or some disappointment occurs. And what is amazing, can you imagine the excitement that a young person who discovers uh, the gifting of God, of uh, the ability of God uh, so early on, mm -hmm. you know, and there were some young people who are smart, you know, who are intelligent, who are spiritual, mm -hmm. you know, early on, they learn yeah. that, you know, God is in control and they can provide some creative, you know, imagination uh, for uh, ideas in terms of uh, like the sponge, mm -hmm. you know, what God can get from them in terms of good. Right. And so, you know, one of the other areas I thought about while you were squeezing, if this is God's hand, mm -hmm. then what God does is he gets the bad out. But when the sponge bounces back, then we have what is the fruit of the spirit, 
because the fruit of the Spirit is what God is building up on the inside of us. And how amazing is that when we have children who are already operating with yes. the fruit of the Spirit because life has squoze the bad. I'm, is that the right, correct word, squoze or squeeze? Uh, yes, life is squeezing <laughs> yes. and bad out. Bad out of us. And God is putting new in, yeah. you know, so that uh, the best uh, that he has for us comes alive. Yes. Amen. And you know what else I thought, Bishop, yes. is we talked about that dirty sponge. But when you put that sponge in some soapy, clean water, yes. it it, uh, it sponges back, it, it sponges comes back, back. Yes. and it's clean. And that's kind of like what God does. When we mess up mm -hmm. uh, and, and we're, we've dirtied ourselves, he can clean us up. He can put us back together again mm -hmm. like the potter and make us white uh, and brand new. Amen. Mm -hmm. So that, I mean, outstanding illustration. And so I really encourage our children uh, to that when there are disappointing moments, when there are places or times uh, when you feel disappointed because something didn't go your way. Uh, it's a real good place to pray and talk to God about what you're discouraged about, what the disappointment is. But that, not just God, but you can talk to your parents. What a loving relationship it is to be able to build that kind of uh, conversational time with your parents to talk about, you know, how you feel, what you're thinking about. Um, you know, because of what we're experiencing, it's really, really important. Uh, that you are able to have an outlet in terms of releasing uh, your thoughts, uh, whatever anger is built up, whatever sadness that comes. You know, you've got to be able to have an open, honest conversation with your parents or your guardians that are in control of your life. And so I really want to encourage you, never, ever carry that stuff around on the inside of you. Get it out, get it out in the hurry in terms of talking with your mom or with your dad or with your grandparents or that person who is a, who has guardianship over your life. Talk to them about what you are experiencing and so that uh, they can help talk you through it, but that they can help pray you through it mm -hmm. as well. And discover early that prayer really does work. Yes, it does. As a matter of fact, let me encourage you uh, to increase your prayer time, but increase your prayer conversation. And what I mean by that, you know, you may have a system in terms of what your prayer, what kind of prayers you use and what kind of conversation you have with God. So I want to encourage you to increase in terms of the things that you pray to God about so that you can be able to release, you can release whatever it is that has been built up on the inside of you. Mm -hmm. And watch what God does. He'll create a space, a place for you where you are much happier, you sleep better at night, you know, you get rid of whatever it is in terms of bad dreams and fearful about even sleeping in the dark. All of those things can be covered if you spend the time in prayer and then having conversation with your parents and or your guardians and never ever be afraid to say uh, that uh, you're frightened about something. Mm -hmm. Never ever keep that from your parents. Always share those moments with them uh, because it's, uh, it's so important to do that and it's so important to build a strong, strong relationship mm -hmm. with your mom and dad. Amen. 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 And one last thought, Bishop, is whatever is squeezed out, it really does affect the people around you. Amen. And, and they're concerned about you, friends, and, and they want to be able to help. And so squeezing it out actually will lift the load. This gets heavy when it's full of water. It does. But when the water is squeezed out, it's the load right. has been lightened. Amen. Yeah. Well, listen, we are so excited and we thank God for this time. Pray that you've been blessed. Don't forget uh, virtual 
yes. uh, Bible school. Amen. Amen. We're looking forward. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a special time for you, special day that's prepared. And we're looking forward to a great, great time. Uh, not just the virtual Bible school, but also our international conference Absolutely. of full gospel will happen on Thursday and Friday. We'll get those times to you. We'll get the information to you so that you can register to participate in the conference. I promise you it's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. And you're going to learn quite a bit about our Lord and about our God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. Be gracious unto you. And the Lord grant you peace until we meet again. See you later.